In our Music City Beat right now, Elvis fans have a unique art exhibit that they can go down and see at the brand new Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum downtown. 50 plus years with Elvis is a one of a kind progressive journey. Fox 17 Entertainment reporter Stacy McLeod takes us inside and introduces us to its Nashville based illustrator. This exhibit does more than represent over 50 years of Elvis. It also showcases the artist, Betty Harper, who single-handedly has drawn the king more than anyone else in the world. This was just done when I brought it to him in Jerry Bradley's office. Betty Harper started drawing Elvis as a child. The first Elvis I drew was actually a little outline. His chin and, and the hair going up and the hair coming down. You look at it and say, oh, that's Elvis because he's got a big pompadour. But the first drawing she has to show is this one. This is the 180th drawing of a person I ever did. Oh, like a little kid, I put numbers on all of them. And I think the ones here start about 180. Those first drawings are where the progressive art exhibit 50 plus years with Elvis begins. The journey continues decades later to the first Elvis drawing that she was ever paid for. About three weeks after Elvis died. Uh, Felton Jarvis called and said, there is a specific time and picture that I want and I want you to paint it. Just around the corner is a picture of her Elvis billboard, which was displayed in Memphis to commemorate the one year anniversary of his death. Ironically, though, the images were drawn the day he died. I'd gotten up about four o'clock that morning and I had an idea and I uh, went to work on one. By the afternoon, I had completed two images. I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it's OK. About 3.15. They came in with an announcement saying, you know, we have news from, from Memphis. And I knew what they were going to say. And I looked over at that picture, and when I did, I saw another image. And I didn't even finish listening to what they said. I got up and I finished the drawing. A couple dozen drawings later, you come to today, where Harper's art is much different than it was 50 years ago. All of those, Loretta, Conway, all of them, I drew each one of those individuals. And then I scanned them in the computer, put them together, and then in the computer, I created the flag and the lettering. Harper has drawn roughly 10,000 images of Elvis. This exhibit only gives you a small taste from a child that was intrigued by the king. He's always been my mode of expression. To an Elvis superfan. These are actual record covers that I made for my 45s. And eventually, the official artist for Elvis Presley Enterprises. Images that make it easy to see why Betty Harper is known for capturing the spirit of Elvis like no one else can. It's been uh, so much a part of my life for, you know, since I was a little kid. The art exhibit will be on display here at the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum all the way through the end of 2013 and is totally free. Reporting from downtown Nashville, Stacey McLeod, Fox 17 News.